Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my genetics challenge in Planet Zoo. If you're new here, this challenge is all about taking low stat animals that I buy and then breeding them and eventually getting them to be 100% stats for everything. So far we've been making some progress with a handful of animals, we haven't quite gotten any finished yet, but I'm really excited about this episode because we're adding Thompson's gazelles and we're going to try to breed a bunch of animals too. And it looks like right off the bat we're going to have a baby timber wolf, so let's go check it out and see what the stats are going to be for it. It's a baby boy. Oh, but the stats are not super great. That's alright, though. We can work with it. Oh, and a second baby. Let's see what this one is. That's a boy as well. And at least he has good immunity. Everything else is kind of not great, but that's alright. Alright, so now we have a baby wild dog about to be born. Although the mother sure is taking her time. Alright, there. Looks like she's gonna have her baby now. Okay, and it's another baby boy. Oh wow, he is really good. Okay, I'm so happy with this. Everything but longevity is in the green. And we have a second little pup here. And it's a girl, and she's a little bit worse, but she's still pretty good, so overall I'm happy. And now a baby zebra, oh my goodness. I'm sure I'll end up cutting out some of this for you guys, um, but seriously, these all have been born pretty quickly in succession here, so it's pretty incredible. Alright, there's the baby, and he's a boy, and his stats are actually pretty good, at least fertility and immunity, pretty good. I work on longevity still, but that's alright, we'll get there. Alright, so I decided that over here is where I'm going to put the Thompson's Gazelle habitat, which is also going to be for future um, zebras as well, for the second generation. Or like, second habitat that will have zebras in it, I mean. Anyway, I'm going to jump into a quick time lapse while I build this, and I will see you in a minute. So I had to put a little pause on the time lapse here because this aardvark is about to have her baby. Hopefully it doesn't get too repetitive, but obviously the baby animal genetics is the aim of this series, so I kind of want to show you guys all of them. And we've had another boy, which is crazy, but he's got decent stats, so at least immunity is good. But yeah, I'm gonna jump right back into the time lapse now.
All right, so we got another baby zebra here. Okay, it's a girl. And wow, her stats are not great. I think that's probably the worst one we've had yet. Fertility of zero, that's crazy. But I think I'll keep her anyway because girls are kind of useful for this um, challenge. So even if she doesn't have a baby, it's not really that much of a harm. Alright, so I just about had enough time to put all the Thompson's gazelles into the new habitat when we have another baby zebra coming. Oh jeez, and it's running as soon as it's born. Come back here. Okay, so it's a girl. And alright, she's much better than the last one, and I'm pretty happy about her. Oh no, one of the arctic wolves is about to die. I mean, I really can't complain too much after all the babies that have been born already this episode, but it's always just sad for me. And it was the male, so let's see who else was in this habitat, I don't remember. Oh, so it kind of looks like there was nobody in here with him. Oh, that's really sad. But I guess then we can put a new pair in here. I think I did buy a new male for whenever this happened. I kind of remember that now. Okay, so let's put these two in here, and hopefully they'll start breeding and have more puppies soon. Oh, the zebra had her baby before I could even get over there. But let's see, another baby girl, that's good. And her stats are actually pretty good, so that's cool. Alright, so I want to add another habitat over here. This one's going to be for a second Arctic Wolf habitat. And I'm really excited about this one because I'm going to make an overhead path for it. I just kind of like the idea of that pathway in there just being kind of like a little island that people can get to either through or above a habitat, you know? You can't really get there like a normal way. This habitat does look a bit big, but I really wanted to make sure they would have enough space and not be overwhelmed with the guests looking over the edge like on the path. And I was going to jump into a time lapse, but now we have a baby Thompson's gazelle, so let's go look at that first. a little baby boy he's so cute and he's got great fertility and immunity so i'm really happy about that so now i'll jump into that time lapse
is almost done. But we're about to have a baby arctic wolf, so let's check this out first. And that is such a cute stretch. Oh my gosh. And here's the little baby boy. And wow, well, he has good stats and good longevity, which is pretty rare for most of my animals, to be honest. And now, before I could even get back to the habitat, there's a baby aardvark on the way. Okay, another baby boy. It's a lot this episode. But his stats are pretty good. Longevity, as you can see, is not super great, but it's still good. Oh, and I missed a Thompson's gazelle having a baby too. Let's go see that. Okay, here's the baby, and it's a girl. Ooh, her stats aren't too great, but we can still work with it, so that's alright. Okay, so the Arctic wolves have just been put into their habitat here, and so I'm trying to get the terrain and everything all set for them. And I want to add some trees as well, just so that it doesn't look so plain and empty. And hopefully you can tell from up here, but I did make a little tunnel as their shelter, which I thought was pretty cool. It doesn't really look like much from the outside, but I think it's kind of neat on the inside. It's kind of hard to get in there and to see, but I just think it's kind of cool that they can get all the way through or go in from either end. And they have a lot of privacy that way, because obviously the guests can see them from the top. Which, it looks like they're already up there, which is super cool. Um, I was really hoping they would use those little cutouts, at least most of the time. Because I definitely don't want this path up here to get blocked. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this habitat's turning out. Please let me know what you think in the comments, if you think I should add or change anything. But I think it looks pretty cool, and I just love the idea of walking over and seeing them from kind of all the angles like this. And with that, um, this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching as always, I really appreciate it. And if you're enjoying the series, um, please consider subscribing so you can see what happens next. And I will see you later.